got some paper clips here. I'm going to bend them and make them into our antenna that we're going to use for the spout bot so it can bounce into things. <clears throat> so it's good to keep one part of the antenna straight because that's how the hot glue will sit well on the on the bot. So I'm going to go ahead and put it right here like this. And uh, hopefully you can see that. And now we're just going to do the same thing for the other side. This part takes a fair amount of patience. It's okay if you spill a little bit of the glue, spill a little bit of the glue because of the hot glue because it will, you can cut it off later, but it is important to hold that antenna still. All right, we can see it works. Our two antenna are in place. We may want to bend those and shape them a little bit, uh, but for now they'll do. So now let's go ahead and connect our final connection, which is the, the power for the LED eyes. And uh, we're gonna use this switch here to turn that power on and off. kind of tricky because you got to get the you don't want the loop of metal the loop of of the wire to be too big um, because if it is too big then it'll touch the other side but you don't also want it to be too small I think what I'm going to do is just hot glue it down later, like I did the other one too, because it's just coming apart. There we go. So we'll take this one, put it in there like that, and then bend this completely back so that it holds it in place. We'll take our third arm here, and... See if we can get this to work. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and solder that one before we do the other side. And that did not actually have very much and that did not actually have very much solder flow. I'm gonna have to reheat this and see if we can get it to flow. There we go. That's how we want it to look. Okay. Now you can see the switch is on and the lights, the eyes work. Let's turn it off. And we're gonna 
get our needle nose here and see if we can't get this this all wrapped up. There we go. Now we're going to put down just a little bit of hot glue underneath it, right here like that. And let that cool as we hold it in place. And then we can put a lot more glue on the back side around the, the wires and that'll help keep them in place and also ultimately it'll help hold the switch in place. And we will, I'll wait till the glue turns that sort of milky color because that'll let me know that it's dry. Um, one other thing we can do to make this work a little better, right now we can, we can turn it on and make it run. So it goes pretty well right now. There are a couple things we can do. One is we can, uh, one thing we can do is we can turn it off. We can take the, uh, one of the paper clips and bend it to make a tail so that it, it drags its tail on the ground and, and it doesn't, it makes it a little less, a little less friction for it. So, uh, we're going to take I guess one of these here and go we'll go through here like this And what we'll do is, we, you know, one of the things we can do is just pop some of these things out. And then when we put the battery back in, it should help to hold the tail in place. You can also put some heat shrink tubing on the, the feet to get them to have a little more grip. And so we're, we're going to do that. I've got a little tubing here like this. And you can use a heat gun or you can put your soldering iron next to the tubing and it should help to shrink it up. 